And welcome back to Sue and Twyla with Get Sold. So I had a request to do a channel drawing for Miss Twyla. So I'm trying not to have a performance anxiety, but it'll all be good. So I set up this other camera, as you can see, so that I can draw. <clears throat> now, while I'm looking down drawing, Twyla can entertain you or we can do whatever, sit silently as you watch the drawing or whatever you feel. So I'm going to begin the process with Twyla's permission. Do I have your Absolutely. permission to enter your energy field? Yes, and what you I, do. Okay. What I do briefly to explain what a channel drawing is, I should do that first. Go back to the basics. Okay. Um, a while back after I had cleared an immense amount of stuff, it's like the universe gives you a gift. Now, I've always been artistic. I've always resonated with anything artsy but I never imagined having art and spiritualism mixed together. And a lot of people do soul drawings and all that stuff. But I guess what I, what my gift turned out to be was that I could do karmic channel drawing and what that, that was the, how it began karmic channel drawing. So in other words, um, I'm going to give you an example of with your permission. This is a drawing I did briefly of uh, one of Twyla's past lives in one of our, zoom meetings so this would be a karmic past life example um this one i did of my own uh i was asking about world affairs so i karmically drew this which kind of gave us an idea of the oppression that we're going through and so forth and i've had a lot of my own i started this for myself to heal a lot of wounds with others uh karmically and then it evolved into channel drawing for highest and best good. So if somebody just wants um, to know, okay, I don't have a karmic life in particular, just uh, bring me the most relevant information that I need to heal now. So what I then do is I go in, I ask permission for the other person's um, entry into the energy field. And then my guides, my higher self will work with theirs. And then they will show me an image and, um, that image will either be a symbology, a literal, um, it could be, like I said, um, if it's karmic, I'll actually see a life event in that person's uh, energy field and I'll draw it out and they're sketches. So what I typically do is if I have a client that I'm doing these for, I will put as much color and, and so forth into them because I want it to look like a finished product. But generally if I'm doing them for me, um, I don't always do all the colors. Uh, this one was one I had done for myself with a person that had gone back to uh, an Egyptian life. Um, that was something I needed to see. And then let's see, here was a <laughs> colored one I did for myself because I just felt like coloring. But <laughs> this was a, a karmic lifetime I had uh, that dealt with money and greed and things like that. And uh, it wasn't very nice, but I had to see it. So that'll, and this was one I had a lot of fun with, with, uh, I won't say who, but it was a friend of a friend and I did this for her and that was the end photo or the end drawing Ooh. for her session. And I just fell in love with it. I had to take a picture of it because, you know, I, I give them to the person, but I just love yeah. the happiness. You know, she had a couple others that weren't, you know, as happy, but the end result was this. And I just absolutely fell in love with that. So so that kind of gives you an idea and they're all over the place. Um, I've learned now that when I do some of the channel drawing, if I do a star, if I do uh, certain symbols, a star will mean something galactic, you know, connecting with a star family, a star seed or what have you. So with that, um, it gives you an idea. So we'll get going here. Um, I'm going to tap into Twyla's energy field and just ask her guides uh, and herself what thing that she wants to work on right now and it could be again it could be just highest and best or it could be karmic or whatever okay show time you're on twyla to either entertain our audience or do whatever you feel okay okie dokie do All you right. need like silence while you draw i sorry i have a question i guess no so in fact like, it would silence? It, it it would relieve me if you talked or did something because then i i i, I still have like performance anxiety like when I'm one-on-one -on -one with a person that's fine but when I'm like oh god I gotta do this in a you know specific 
period of time and it has to look cohesive and all that, then there's a little anxiety there. But I mean, not with source and all that stuff, but just, you know what I'm saying? Getting it right, not having the camera fall down and all that stuff. But I guess if it happens, then that's what happens. But okay, so you do whatever you feel like doing. I'm going to have my face down here most of the time until I can get a cohesive image for you. And then what happens after I get an image is I will then get, they will channel to me by writing, if needed, what that image is for. And that's something that is up to the person. Like that would be up to you if you wanted to share with the audience or not. Um, let's start with the image and then we just decide from there because that's your personal everything, you know? So let's, yeah. let's see what we get and maybe they'll be helping us on the other side and kind of do what's most appropriate for you and our audience. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to talk about the different types of drawing that you can do. So like I do um, uh, aura drawings. So when I do an aura drawing, very similar to what you do, I ask permission. Um, I kind of see colors. And then I'll see like um, lines and shapes. Sometimes it's very discernible. Sometimes it's a little more vague. Um, like when I see dots, um, I know that that's gridding or crystal gridding. If I see a flower, I know that that's a part of them that might be missing some kind of love in their life. Either a lot of times in my experience, it's self-love that they need to work on. Um, and like a lot of times I had a client who um, was really going through a rebirth and I drew a phoenix and I thought that was very like spot on and interesting. Um, I know there's so many different kinds of um, ways to incorporate spiritualism and art, like, um, like you said, um, uh, soul sketches, um, soulmate sketches you can like there's a woman who does it where she will channel draw your mate in this life hmm. and a lot of times they are so beyond accurate it's slightly terrifying <laughs> you know just like here's a picture of someone and then like a year or something later you meet that exact person and you're like <gasps> <laughs> which I love Yes. Um, you know what I really like too that I think is very kind of modern and a, I, I find a lot of judgment that's really not needed around it mm -hmm. but digital aura drawing mm. which I think they're actually like really spot on and really beautiful it's usually like um, a white being cross legs sitting and then colors all around them and different shapes and a lot of times they can tell you which chakra this shape is associated and why it's a certain color mm -hmm. um I think that's really interesting um and awesome and also I think it opens up new channels for people to express themselves mm -hmm. through other which is awesome um yeah I don't know why but I'm feeling kind of funky today and out of it again uh oh so I imagine that a trip will be happening this evening ah uh, a recalibration mm -hmm. okay yeah so I'm hearing recalibrations and downloads are expected for a lot over the next few days and something about opening voices, allowing voices, like an uptick of speaking your truth in um in um positivity. A lot of times when we speak our truth, it sometimes comes from um an, a more aggressive place mm. and. It'll be more of a positive, positive um, release for people. And I something about solar flares. Oh, geez. Some kind of significant solar event is coming. Oh, that reminds me of what um, 
so so two K said about the solar flares in the sun. Mm. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, well, that's coming terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like haven't we been rattled around enough <laughs> right haven't we been you know mm, bounced around and and weather like serious weather changes yeah I feel like Connecticut is Florida right now we've had like no snow no yeah. no it's like not been cold I haven't had to wear a jacket outside in a while there are some massive changes happening on our planet for sure yeah I wonder I always ask myself like why now what is the purpose of these specific changes what are we supposed to learn from this how well, is this going to affect me how is this going to affect people in my life or people on the world from how I understand it it's all about upgrading it's all about uh, moving our bodies up into a new state of being, a higher consciousness, which requires, it's kind of like if you're going to trick out your car, you know, you're going to put fancy wheels on it. You're going to, you know, boost up the sound system and put mags or whatever you do these days. And it's almost yeah. like that to accommodate um, the new energies coming in to support where we're actually going here. That's it's a very like preparatory year like we're prep we're preparing yes, very, yeah. much so. like, very much so very much so we're we're preparing and we're being prepared i think that's the point that a lot of people are missing yeah in like collective is that we're not only preparing but we're being prepared yep we're sure. Getting those downloads, we're having adjustments made psychically. Um, we're having a lot of people. I feel like are going to experience a lot of ascension sickness. Mm. It's weird because I see it all the time on Facebook. Like when I'm on and I see people with symptoms that I know are ascension symptoms, like extra headaches and body aches and. Uh, heart palpitations and all that but you know most of the people aren't really cognizant of that yet so if you just said oh don't worry don't go to the doctor or something like that like you wouldn't yeah. say that on Facebook because nobody wants a lawsuit but you know it has to do with um being aware of or being awake I should say because just being aware you know but if you're not awake then you're just like dying you're like oh you know I'm yeah dying. I think it's a, a good time to say if you're feeling funky and you don't you feel sick but you're not sick kind of deal yeah Definitely take that time to look within and right. um take a meditation because honestly it's probably most likely something trying to tell you something <laughs> or you're supposed to be learning something yeah um and i think we're gonna definitely see a lot of um awakenings happening a lot of almost like spiritual warriors in a sense yeah and, people um, who forgot what they were here to do all of a sudden going oh wait yeah. a minute <laughs> oh hold on I messed up it's time I gotta go back um yeah, yeah. and I think it's there's like two sides you know how there's like a side a d two sides to everything mm. so right so we're gonna have the people who go through a lot of loss yes and yep. And get a lot of um, more guidance, more um, spiritually awake people. Like you have to make room for the new. Yeah, you know, for sure. If you're having a lot of loss, know that there's a reason for it, and that it's definitely going to um, bring a lot of new energy into your life. Um, that's going to be very good, very uplifting, very educational. Yeah. very eye-opening um, in all the ways and then those who are not really experiencing loss right now mm -hmm. I think are going to have loss later but they're going to get the um, uptick in like downloads and information is really going to hit them hard like harder yeah, yeah. you're gonna feel so good about it 
<laughs> let me tell you, it is going to be like, oh, this totally sucks, but I'm so happy about it. So happy. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking within. I'm solving my problems. I'm moving forward. Um, like if you're in a financial situation, you're going to be able to really get out of it with um, not a lot of energy being taken from you. Um, also, you're going to find that you're going to shed a lot of friends this year. Mm. I think that's super, super prevalent that a lot of people are going to lose friends. And it's not because we're done awful like big breakup friend breakups and stuff but it's gonna right. be more of a okay I'm on this different level you're not quite there yet and you need to go through this thing without me yeah to understand and move up um I don't know why I said all that that just came out so enjoy guys <laughs> like sorry you know, I'm, I'm gonna add to that what I'm trying to focus here too is that I know for me, I'm, I don't roll with it as easily as maybe some people. I, I struggle through the crappy stuff. I struggled through the loss and all that stuff. Cause I hate letting go. I'm like, I'm like, I keep saying I'm an old tree that doesn't want to give up, you know, like what I had or whatever, cause it's what I knew and it was my safety. So for me, the transitions seem to be a little tougher, you know, a little more painstaking. Um, you know, I hear a lot of the, um, light light workers or whatever you want to call them like oh I love this process just feel the pain it's so delicious I'm like I'm with not you me. not me yeah <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard thing to give yourself it's it's a hard thing to trust a process that you don't know yeah and aren't sure of the outcome and yeah. surrendering completely to the I process mean, we need to hear what you just said about the optimism part of it is is where i'm yeah. getting like i would listen to people like you because i don't want to be scared and i don't want to go through this alone and i don't want to feel like i'm crazy and all that other stuff you know so yeah it, but it's hard though. I don't think anybody really tells you when you start your spiritual journey, A, how much self-work it is and B, how much you're really going to lose. Cause you have to lose literally everything in your life. Mm. Everything that is meant to go has to go. Yeah. Even when it has significant meaning to you, it's got to go. And that's a hard thing to budge on, especially in regards to relationships. It is hard to give up a relationship that has been your life for a long time. Your Better safety. Than everything. Yep. Yeah. But it's, it stinks, but it's going to be worth it in the end. And, and my point is things come back around. Like, they do come back around. Like, so if you are feeling that way and you think um, you're losing a lot of relationships, just be open to the process and realize that those relationships will come back when, when it's time and if they're the right ones. I feel like there's a coded message in there for me. <laughs> I'm trying to put it very softly. <laughs> thank you you're I welcome all right so we're getting our little uh whatever you call it um warning so what i'm gonna do is go into this real quickly um this is an image I, it's not drawn as well as i'd like because it is really hard being tethered to a very small space where i can't really move around but for the point of illustration let me click that off um what I was seeing in you, and this is a nice way to end this thing, um, at least for this episode, uh, was the goddess in you, was the power in you, all of the things that you ever doubted yourself for or grew up thinking that you were not enough. I'm just seeing this powerful, powerful goddess of uh, during um, indigenous times where everyone looked to you for you know, the guidance, uh, uh, the tribe, everyone just kind of, maybe it's emulating, maybe it's tapping into the energy that we experienced the other night, but just this amazing goddess energy where you've got it all together 
you're starting to finally step into that goddess mode where you're putting all your skills and abilities into helping humanity. And I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, you know, I think of all the things I could have tried, it's very positive, very optimistic. And it's, and it's a remembrance of who you are and who I've had the pleasure of being able to see you start to step in and there's no stopping you. So I'm oh in love with you. I'm so glad we reconnected. And I'm just seeing this amazing goddess in you stepping forth. And I'm, I want to cry sometimes when I think about when I first met you. And you were just like a scared little girl that had all these abilities that everybody just shut down and said, no, no, no. And now you're like just stepping into this beautiful um, power. And even yeah. these videos now are starting to, you know, you're pushing that energy out and everything. So I'm very grateful to reconnect with you and just to see how the goddess evolves in you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm just so honored to have you draw for me. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but like, I know we were sisters in many, many past lives and we have been through some stuff, if you know what I'm saying. But I feel really privileged to have met you and experienced your gifts, which are beyond magical. I can't tell you enough that you are like, if I had to put you in a category of person and like, I guess like an archetype, I would say teacher mentor, like teacher, Aww. you know, but also with that, like, you have that unconditional love coming out now. And I'm happy to see you grow more. And I'm thankful. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. And I want to keep doing, sharing this information, however it has to come out of us. I know it's divinely guided. And I'm thrilled because this has been a very lonely, lonely journey when you know what's really going on and you know what you're supposed to do. And I don't know if I could do this next half without you without Ingrid and even soul 2k because it's been really hard but you especially as my sister over and over and over again and as once your guide I am so happy and thrilled that we are reunited again so yeah. okay um it's up to you what you'd like to do at this point but we'll end it in like two seconds so we don't get shut off so to everyone out there watching thank you thank you so much for being a part of our journeys and i hope that we've contributed something to your energy field something positive we send love i send love i know twyla does <laughs> right lots of love and light yeah so join us again and thank you thank you so much for being with us tonight Again, like I said, I always have a problem with it. My drawings aren't perfect or whatever, but I understand it's the intent of it. It's just hard to do it under these circumstances. But can okay, you hold um, up the drawing? Well, oh yeah, I can. I can. Um, it, again, oh wow, it's not great, but it's you holding a crystal ball under the the, the you know the moonlight yeah. contains a lot of power and emotion. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, there you are. That is the divine goddess. There she is doing her thing before our very eyes. So with that, thank you, everyone. I will see you again on the next episode. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Love and light, everybody. Bye.